when you close your eyes to meditate. It helps you to give full attention to your mind. That's one of the qualities that leads to success in any activity, is that you give it your full attention. It's one of four qualities that the Buddha singled out as having an important role to play in succeeding whatever your activity, but especially in meditation. The first one is that you have to want to do it. As I say, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But if the horse wants to drink, then you don't have to lead him. It goes right there. So try to develop that quality of the mind that wants to meditate, that realizes the importance of getting the mind to settle down so it can know itself. Because after all, this is the real source of the suffering in the mind, is the lack of skill we have in dealing with our own minds. And here's an opportunity to develop some skill. And once you have the desire in place, and then you really work at it. Anything that's going to get in the way of the meditation, you just put it aside. Think of all the different members of the Committee of the Mind. Some of them are on board with the idea of meditating, others are not. So for the ones that are not on board, you can put them aside. Don't let them get in the way. And don't give up. Sometimes they keep coming back, back, back. But you can be just as insistent as they are. You can be more insistent than they are. At the same time, trying to develop good qualities of the mind, qualities like mindfulness and alertness. Then, as I said, you give it your full attention. That's the third quality. You don't just go through the motions. You're really here, right here, right now, really trying to breathe in a way that feels really good. And then you use your ingenuity. You use your intelligence. If the one approach isn't working, you figure out, well, what's not, what, what's not working? What am I doing this wrong? What can I change? After all, this is how the Buddha himself gained awakening. He didn't have a road map. He didn't have a guide. And so his only guide was looking at his own actions, seeing what results he was getting, and then adjusting his actions as need be. And it's through trial and error like that that he finally arrived at trial and success. So bring your intelligence, bring all of your mental faculties here right now. Your desire, your persistence, the intentness with which you do this, and then the ingenuity and intelligence with which you deal with problems as they come up. When you develop these qualities in your meditation, then you can transfer them off to other activities in life. Anything that's really worth doing well, this is how you do it well. It starts with the desire and then works with the persistence, intentness, and then your ingenuity. In Thailand, in the, the textbooks for the Dharma, they list these four qualities as basis for success in any activity. In the canon, they're mainly concerned with meditation. And they've really gotten into the culture. I even read some place of a treatise that was done on the four bases of success as they applied to mechanic repair work in the, in the Thai army. And if you actually follow through with these things, then no matter what the activity is bound to succeed.